Notre Dame had been defeated only once in 43 games when the Irish came to Bloomington, Indiana to meet the colorful Hoosiers. And this Indiana team gave a spectacular demonstration of running and blocking to thoroughly trounce Notre Dame. The Irish quarterback, Bob Williams, is back in punt formation, and as he sends that ball downfield, let's cut to our slow-motion camera to watch this great punt return by Gene Gedman as he circles off to the left, waiting for his blockers to form in front of him, and form in front of him they did as they cleared a pathway for him up the field. One Irish defender after another sprawled to the ground as Gedman, angling toward the sidelines, continues on his way. Across his own 40-yard line now, with blockers still in front of him. He has only one man between him and the goal line as he crosses the midfield stripe, and that's Bob Williams. But the great Irish quarterback fends off the blocker, gets one hand on Gedman's sleeve, enough to slow him up so he can be knocked out of bounds on the Irish 19-yard line. A run back of that punt by Gene Gedman of 61 yards. And Indiana kept right on moving toward that Notre Dame goal line, edging down there until they were only six yards away. Lou DiCelli, the Indiana quarterback, throws a quick forward pass to Don Luft, and it's completed. He's in the end zone, and Indiana has scored. Bobby Robertson, a truly brilliant running back, scored Indiana's second touchdown. And watch him here with a kickoff return. He's just warming up for one of the most spectacular runs of the season. Yes, Bobby Robertson, truly one of the great running backs of 1950 football. And here comes the play. The handoff is to Robertson. He blasts through the line, has nice blocking in the secondary, and is sprung into the clear. Quickly outrunning what Notre Dame defenders are still on their feet. He swings over to the sideline with only Johnny Bush in pursuit. And that is a hopeless pursuit as Bobby Robertson outruns him and goes all the way. 83 yards for a touchdown. Coach Frank Leahy watches his Irish go down to a 20-7 defeat. And victory was never sweeter for Indiana especially for Bobby Robertson. He's a junior who'll be back this coming 1951 season along with many other outstanding juniors and sophomores we've watched. Robertson personally gained 185 yards that afternoon, more than the entire Notre Dame backfield.